Welcome to the Highlight Show. TZLC8, second week. Match between Blazing Eagles and uh, Black Thunder. Should I say Black Thunder and Blazing Eagles? Black Thunder playing at home. And the shot just going over the bar. We've got Black Thunder attacking from left to right. Towards the roadside. Direct free kick. Panda! Hits the oh. ball. Sparky lets it go. He didn't even see that. Should have done better with that. He should have, really should have. And it's Panda knocking the ball inside. He's quite prone to suddenly taking these long distance attempts. I think that is, yeah, that, that's the new guy, Kino. Prashant Sanaikar. Takes left for the attempt. And the entire free kick in the box. Sparky set up his wall. Seems impregnable, this wall. Ball to Panda! And it hits the pole. He's at the pole twice so far. Panda takes a shot again. No, that was, I think, uh, VG. He calls himself Jehandro. That's Amit on the right flank. And the knocks the ball inside. And Harsh scores! What a goal! Harsh puts Blazing Eagles 1 0 up. If you can just see the action replay, Harsh just knocks it past the highly rated Andy Survey. Andy Survey makes a mail of it. He just watches it. And Parky jumps to ties to his left and saves a sure shot goal, which is going in the corner. Still 1 0. Surprising Eagles away from home. Long ball up. It's one of the rare instances where Angs got the got his head to the ball before Harsh. Others Harsh was getting the ball nearly all the time. Lovely ball to Patty. Nearly all the time beating Panda and Angs. And Panda and Angs are two of the best central defenders in the TZLC. Right now it's Black Thunder in the attack. Ball played a lovely cross inside. Still Black Thunder. Position of the ball. Plays the ball to VG. VG looks inside. Good passing movement. A bit slow maybe. Panda Banda looks up. A long ball. A wasteful ball there. Eh? I don't know what highlight that was. But anyway, Sparky with the throw. Sparky does not have the chance for Harsh. Loves the keeper. Handy Surana. I hope he knew that was going over. And that's Andy Surana. <laughs> As I just said before, highly rated goalkeeper. This is the second half now. Ooh, late challenge. And yes, yes. He was going in for the ball. He was trying to win the ball. And I think it was Amti who tried to uh, reason as to why he made that late challenge. But uh, this is uh, zero tolerance here at the DZ LC8. You just cannot, you have to be respectful and humble at all times. And gives away a free kick and gets himself sent off for a five minutes in bin. Sid the makes a run down the left. It's Panda with the free kick. The score right now it's still a one nil to Bla Black uh, Blazing Eagles. Panda is probably his umpteenth free kick taken so far in this match. Sparky arranging the wall. What's going to happen here? Ball played inside and oh, headed over the bar. So anyway, uh, second division consisting of three uh, top teams, Blue Eyes, Black Thunder and Blazing Eagles. Blazing Eagles right now really defending, defending. There's a chance, a good turn and over the bar. That was a good chance for Snowtop. Knocks it over. That's Sagar, that left back. Plays the ball and said to Mku and Ku on the flank to Sidhu. Sidhu had a good game today. Is having a good game this morning. Sidhu plays the ball and said. Good passing movement by Black Thunder. Oh, oh, oh lovely one touch, two touch passing movement. Mku comes inside, plays the ball back to Sidhu. Sidhu on the ball, knocks the ball inside. Beautiful passing movement. Mku to VG. VG takes a shot straight at the keeper. Keeper cause I can't handle it properly. That's Sparky, the any value goalkeeper. And uh, from the same move, I think he uh, throws the ball out. Controlled in midfield. Harsh on the ball now. Harsh. Oh, there's a chance. Kino gets the ball. Kino goes wide. I think he just tripped at the last moment. Uh, Shubankar. Ashub gives it to Emku, his brother. Emku on the flank to Sidhu. Sidhu. Sidhu looks up. Sidhu. Sidhu. A lovely pass inside to Ashub. 
Ashub, Ashub holding the ball, trying to keep it away from his man, Barker. Ball played inside. And still Black Thunder with another opportunity, Snow Top. A simple save in the end for Sparky. Sparky with another throw to a Harsh. Let's see if Harsh gets it. Oh, Angs has won another ball. Maybe I was mistaken. Maybe the percentage is around 20% that Angs and uh, Panda managed to get the ball away from Harsh. There was no support for Harsh in the end. And most of the balls went straight back to the Black Thunder anyway. It's Ashub. No, it's Mku. Sorry, Mku. Sees VG free. VG one touch. Control. Passes it to the right. A shot taken there. Deflected. It's way on the right now. I think Patty is trying to go for the ball. Yeah, Patty. The young youth team player from Kafandra throws the ball to Suman. Suman looks up. Crosses the ball inside. There's a chance and a goal. He should have done better with that. I mean, that was a golden opportunity. Anyway, it's Sidhu now on the left. Sidhu, Sidhu. Beautiful. I mean, he's he's got a fantastic touch. It looks like a football. Beautiful touch. Emkul, Emkul takes the ball and said, Emkul, too much space here for the players. VG, VG on top of the box. VG takes the shot. And what is Sparky doing? Sparky! <laughs> he saw the ball going inside. He's been rated high as a goalkeeper. But Sparky should have better, done better with that. VG, you can't blame him for celebrating that goal. It did look like a special one at that. Emkul, nobody challenging him. Emkul, the challenge comes in. Do it. VG on top of the box. All the time to spare. And he knocks the ball in. It's one all. Cool and calm. Brilliant play by Black Thunder. That's Harris winning another ball. Vigi comes back. I think he wins the ball back. It is Vigi plays it to Patty on the right. Patty still Patty on the ball. Patty decides to take it himself. Patty, Patty on the ball. Patty back to someone. Someone on the ball plays it back to Patty. Patty, Patty, a lovely cross inside. There's a chance here. A shot and hit hits the ball. What an effort and off the line! Snow top! The ball was thwacked at back at him by Sidhu. And he couldn't do anything about that. It came in too fast and he knocked it everywhere except the net. The back of the net. It's still one all and Black Thunder knocking at Bla Blazing Eagle's door. Uh, maybe not intensely enough, but they still are. And now it's Ray. Ray knocks the ball. And Bruce gets injured in the process. It's back to Ashub, Ashub, Ashub. Ampty is. That was Kino, Kino, I think. Kino's marking him. Ashub. And Ampty comes back. No. No, there's a ball played inside by Amkul. Ashub takes one. Yes, he's taken him. He's taken Kino apart. There's still a chance. And the ball's finally kept away from danger. Taken away from danger. It's right now. What can I do with it? Eh? It's a helicopter ball. How? Uh, that is a terrible pass from and Amti is calling for the ball. That's M Cool gives it to VG. VG back to Ashub Ashub. Oh, what a plomb! Pure specialty there. A special player indeed is Ashub. If you can just see that action replay, he does superbly well with this. Controls the ball, looks up and just taps it on the corner. As if he knew Sparky was not going to dive. Just going to watch the ball go inside. Brilliant play. And here's the end of the match. It's Black Thunder 2, Blazing Eagles 1. But it will stay with you here. This is a new TZLC8 special. We've got all the matches of the week being uh, compiled together in a highlight show. ADC Media presenting here. After this match, coming up is uh, the match played this morning. Red Hurricanes versus Blue Ice. A combined league match. Red Hurricanes from the first division and Blue Ice in the second division. Both clubs playing their first match of the season. And we'll get it to you shortly. As we see that uh, both the clubs coming Finishing the tunnel and we'll bring you the highlights of the second match shortly. Now it's underway. Unfortunately, the quality of this uh, recording is quite poor. There's some problems with the camera and JJ could not quiet. Well, that was a clash of heads, a severe clash of heads between Prashant Gadge, his debut match today for Red Hurricanes and Groove Agarwal. 
So I think uh, drop ball was given and Blue Eyes very kindly tell the Red Hurricanes uh, Prashant Gargay to get on with it. They call him Pudang. Spoke to him the other day. He said he doesn't mind a new nickname. Pudang was when he was a youngster. And he wants a new nickname. So I'm, uh, I'll tell Mr. Curry to think up some one for him. As the match progressed, you could see that uh, Blue Eyes were playing with 10 players. Omi was missing. <laughs> Very funny incident in, in, indeed. Just before the match. There's a chance to come again, boy! Oh, he beats Satsu totally in that 50-50 challenge. It's 1-0 to Red Hurricanes. Oh my goodness. Satsu should have done better with that challenge, being a goalkeeper and all. Gambo is a strong man indeed. It's 1-0. Red Hurricanes totally overpowering their opponents in the first 15 minutes at least. Ball comes in from Amor, it's a shot and it hits the pole. Wonderful effort there. Sassip manages to pick the ball up. As I was saying before, someone on the ball. Amor, lovely one touch play that. That's Kramer actually making an overlapping run. Cleared by Andy Pandy, central defender, what's he doing at left back? He pushes Chin Chin inside, ball crossed inside and uh, it's straight to Satsut. Gambo not doing very well with that effort. Jakas coming into the corner, beautiful corner from Jakas and that should have been better from Cooney. I mean Cooney played superbly and he is playing superbly at the moment. <sighs> Striker, as I said before, Blue Eyes playing with 10 players. And I'll tell you uh, a bit of a funny incident which happened earlier. There's Peter, Peter on the ball. He started that move and he finished that move. Satsud has been rated highly as a goalkeeper, just like in the previous match. So has Sparky. But they did not excel today. Satsud should have done better with this. He did make a few good saves in this match. Uh, but not as many as the goals he let in. Anyway, we've got our... Hurricanes, Hurricanes on the ball now, there's a direct free kick just outside the box, Zamo taking it, cross and straight through Satsut through the gap, I think that was a deflection, this is telling the score right now is 2-0, Red Hurricanes attacking from left to right, oh Thunderbolt from Amu and a late challenge on the goalkeeper. Red should have pulled out of it. He could see Sassut was getting the ball. There was no corner of the ball and the referee rightly gave a free kick. Grove with a shot, a poor attempt. Well defended by R8. As I was saying, Blue Eyes playing with 10 players, the Omi. Oh, is it the ball? That's a Hude shot. One bounce off the pole. I don't think Anna was ready. He thought it was going out. He didn't expect a shot from Anna. There's a chance here. I will cross the ball and says it's a goal. But this goal was given as offside. See what you like. It's Sparky. He was keeping in the other match. In the previous highlights just now. Just Sparky on the far side. One touch movement here from Misty. Misty to Red. Red. And a through ball to Amu. Amu now. Amu. Amu. Amu still on the ball. Amu. Amu takes the shot. It's wide. What is he doing with it? He, when he brought it inside, he should have finished it. He held on it for too long. And then the ball finally bubbled. And he ballooned it over the bar. That's Jakas, another Kafandra youth team player on the right. The ball goes out of play. Now, this is an incident which the TZLC is really acting upon with Amar dropping the ball on the ground and asking his left back. They're from the same team, asking his left back to pick the ball up. I don't know why footballers do this. I and mean, why can't they just give it to that guy's hand? It's not a free kick. The ball doesn't have to stay on the ground. Give it in his hands. TZLC8 has asked the referees to be really hard on these that's TC just going over the bar on these incidences. Has to be fair, be respectful to your teammates and to the opponents. There's another incident which comes up later, which will personify. And that's Guni Guni! He breaks free! <laughs> Brilliant play by Guni. He made it out of nothing at all. Collected the ball just outside the box. You can just see now. Collected the ball just outside the box. Took the ball to his right. A few touches, here you go, and he simply placed the ball in the bottom corner. And I should have done better at that. I don't think these goalkeepers are expecting these chances uh, to be taken. 
There's an indirect free kick here. Supposedly handball by uh, Angie Panji. And it hits the pole. And goes off Angie Panji with the free kick. Knocks the ball inside. A flick on and straight to the keeper. But I think there's been a foul in the box. Yes, you, could, you, you could just see that. If you see, if you go back and... Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. It's Halloween today. I know, JJ, but please don't shock us so much. So anyway, that's a freaking top of the box. Pudang, as he's known, we won't call him Pudang anymore. Prashant. He uh, totally missed the ball. Groove flicked it on and he barged him in the back. Free kick instantly given once there was no advantage gained. As I was saying before, when the Blue Eyes players... Well, let's just watch this free kick and see what happens. This Andy Pandey, he's usually a perfectionist at these free kicks. We can see a sort of a, a 10 by 10 centimeter gap there. Top le right corner, keeper's top left corner. Oh, <laughs> straight in that corner. What a goal. If you can just see the action replay, slowed even, even slower than it normally is. We have to just to see that ball as he comes up. Perfect technique. And that unbelievable effort. It's 2 1. So the saying is the Blue Eyes players opened up the kit. And that's Kramer. Kramer, lovely, unbelievable run, unbelievable cross. Amu with the shot, keeper with the save. The ball not cleared out. And the Mishti goes wide. Oh, was that Mishti? I think it was. It's Peters on the left. Peters. Peters, lovely one to move with Sleepy. He's playing on loan. Peters on the flank. Peters knocks the ball inside. Over Malay again. And over the bar by Prashant Kadge. I don't know how long it'll take to complete my story. But here it is. The ball knocks inside. Goody with the header just wide. Anyway, uh, when they open up the kids, you see kids. Uh, oh, yeah. You just see what's happening in the background. Let me complete the story. When uh, they open up the kits, there's a few kits, few shirts done. That's a lovely ball to Jakas. Jakas one on one with Prashant Gargi. I mean, the weight difference must be around 60 to 70 kilos. And how can Jakas win that? But that's the pure ferocity and tenacity of that player. A tool with a kick from way off, a free kick. But Anna manages to parry away for a corner. Around four or five shirts have been made for the players who play on loan without the names. And when they opened it up, hilariously... Oh, there's a mistake in the box! It's the second half now! TC's shot was deflected straight into his path. I think that Sleepy uh, turned 180 degrees, turned his back to the ball, and Satsut couldn't tap it past the post. Not Satsut's fault. Purely that defender who I can't make out right now. But yes, that's RH on the attack. Pressing. Finally taking that, Scooney, he takes that central defender apart. What a save by Anna. A fantastic save by Anna. Hope they show the action replay for this. What a save, but it's too far away. And yes, no action replay being shown for that. A sleepy with the throw. I think I'll just get to you with that story to you after this match is over. Red and Rude. Red sort of jumps on Rude, but not enough to... Do anything about that. Another pass, a deflection in the box. Who's that? I can't recognize who these players are. And that's it. That's, I think that's the end of the match. It's 4 2. I think that's Kramer. He's going crazy. He scored a goal in the last match of the season in TZLC 7 and he scored in the first match of the season for Red Hurricanes. What a record that is. So let me finally complete the story while these people are going off in the tunnel, congratulating and thanking each other. And commiserations as well so when the players removed the kit the reserve kits out no number of course because it's a reserve team shirt but uh, there was a name and the name was blank it was blank I don't know who's at fault <laughs> how can it be blank but anyway I will uh, leave you with that joke and uh, I'll leave you with the players moving out, let's see if we can hear anything funny happening. Let me just say, this has been an EDC media presentation. It's good morning, good evening, good afternoon and good night from wherever you are. We'll just ignore 
Mario. As he comes off the ground and shows off his shirt. It's a mistake, his name is Mario, not Prashant. Thank you. Thank you. 